Ladies and gentlemen, you know, comments are a sign of an omen. And usually when they come around, it's not a good thing. But these unknowing Gentiles are very excited about this comet coming. Now, you know, if you have clear skies, you may actually see a glimpse of it at sundown. And the comet will be passing for the next few weeks all the way into June. So hopefully between now and then, if you want to get a glimpse of the comet, you will have that opportunity. I realize, you know, like around where I am, we have a lot of cloudy days. So it would be very rare if I get out there and get an opportunity to see it. So let's get into it, y'all. So you've heard people talking about the devil's comment, also the mother of dragons, it's also known as. So the last time the comet passed the earth, it was 1954. All right, so it was 70 years ago. So the comet is also known as 12P, Pons Brooks, or Mother of Dragon Comet. So what is it is actually just a frozen green ball of ice dust and rocks and it is 10.5 miles wide and i want y'all to listen to these numbers and will be about 144 million miles away from the sun 144 right? We, if you're a Hebrew, if you are an Israelite, this number is significant, right? 144 million miles away from the sun. And how can you view it? Well, you'll be able to see it in the Northern Hemisphere. Now, you know, I guess it's all about timing on when you go out to be able to see this. So NASA is advising anybody that wants to go outside to see it, to use binoculars or a small telescope. I do have some binoculars. I'm gonna have to look around for them. I have not seen my binoculars in <laughs> ages. And I have a nice case for it and everything. So space.com, they are saying that, you know, you do have a good chance of going out to see it. So stargazers and people that love looking at the sun, uh, the moon, moon, stars, they said you should catch this in the sky if you can pinpoint where Jupiter is. If you can do that, you should be able to catch a glimpse of the comet. If you wait until an hour after sundown, you should be able to see the comet within that next hour. So that's what they're saying. So if you can find Jupiter in the sky, you want to look in that direction. So as of June 2nd, so we're going to be able to see it in the sky all the way up until June 2nd. And then it will move to the Southern Hemisphere. The sightings of a Devil Comet are rare and considered once in a lifetime spectacle. According to life science, the comet finishes its orbit about once every 70 years. So the short period, which means that between 20 and 200 years, last seen in 1954 during its last passage, 
This is according to the American Astronomical Society. The last time people were observing um, this comet, they were doing the photographic plates. They are doing binoculars. They were doing, you know, watching with their eyes. This is according to what they were saying happened in 1954. So they describe it as a cold volcanic comet, which is a rare type of comet due to its frequent illuminating eruptions. In July of 2023, it was dubbed as Devil Comet. But yeah, see, it, it's just been called Devil Comet recently. You know, if you go back in history, it was known as Mother of Dragons. All right, so uh, when a major eruption within the comet caused the body to emit a horn-like appearance, the horns are made up of gas, ice, and periodic explosions. These bursts brought from the object from being dim enough that you can only see it with its big, perf you know, it, it, they said if you got a big telescope in your window, you have a good chance of getting a, a, you know, probably the best view of it when it's orbiting in the sky. And they go on to say this is rare because many comets that have outbursts, the sudden increases in brightness that are so strong that even fewer that they have a couple of times uh, during one orbit. So they may go into these bursts of brightness a few times. So the outbursts cause the comet to appear a hundred times brighter in the sky. Wow. Interesting. You know, like I told y'all before, I did get a glimpse of Halley's Comet, and it was back in the 90s, I believe. And I only got to see that by chance. I just happened to be in my car driving home. I had worked some overtime that day, so it was dark outside. It was winter, so it was dark. And I was sitting at a traffic light and something whizzed by in the sky with a tail. And I'm like, did I just see that? I thought I was the only one that saw it. It was other people that I worked with that were in the same traffic. They saw it too. And then I knew that was the comet and it was orbiting around the earth at that time. And they kept talking about it on the news. But I, I guess if I was not at that traffic light, I probably never would have seen it. So I was able to get a quick glimpse of it. So y'all, let me know if you happen to see this in the sky in your area. Let me know in the comments section. You know, I might periodically go out and see if I can get a glimpse of it. But hey, if I can't, then that's okay too. I know it's there. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.